Now, I bet you're wondering how I've been keeping my food cold. Well, I'm going to tell you, as you can see, it's a Verver brand compressor fridge. It, uh, it's 45 liters or 47 quarts. It can be either or fri a fridge or a freezer. Although I found with this, if you have it in freezer mode, this, the little side compartment stays not frozen. So you could actually keep milk, Pepsi, I shouldn't say Pepsi. We'll say cola or soda um, or beer of your liking. Whatever, whatever liquid you'd like in there. As long as you don't go overboard with the freezer temperature. So if you set it at its highest safe rate, you will have a, uh, a pretty decent temperature in the small side. Now, for me, the small side is not big enough for that. So I use it typically as, or actually, I only use it as a fridge. I uh, keep my condiments in there. Um, it's uh, perfect for oil. I mean, I don't need to store my oil in there, but I don't really have anywhere else to store it. Ketchup, um, salad dressing, um, syrup, um, hot sauce. That's about all I store in there. So, it, uh, I don't even know what you call that for the opening. It opens end to end. Um, inside, now granted, I've been using this for a few months. But inside, you'll get the power cord. So, you'll get the power block. And you'll get the 12-volt cord. And you also get an instruction manual. But I don't know. I don't even know where that is right now. Now, there is an LED light. This is the small side over top of the compressor I was t telling you about. It does stay cool when it's set to freezer mode. Um, it also has a basket, which obviously makes for ease of loading and unloading. It, uh, it's well ventilated, so there's a vent on this side and a vent on the other side. There's the plug-in for it. The handles are solid. Um, the hinge on the, the lid seems to be solid. The catch is very solid. It, uh, it literally clicks into place. It's, uh, it's a good tight fit. Uh, and then there's the display, which can be changed between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Um, on top of that, it is actually Bluetooth. So I can control my phone or control it from my phone. Um, from anywhere within probably 15 or 20 feet. I don't really know why you would need to, but I'm not gonna say no. It, uh, it's a handy feature when uh, you keep it up between the front of your seats and the curtain blocks it and you can't see what it's doing. You can always check on it in the middle of the night if you want to, just to see what it's doing. Now, I'm gonna put everything back in. So I'm gonna show you what I had in there. Not this case of beer, but I had all this meat. I had meat. I had a container of ground pork that I have to put in my chili. I've got an onion. I got margarine. I got oranges. I got two packages of flatbread, potatoes, half an onion, some spinach, a loaf of bread. I got the chili that I'm going to have today. I got a bag of carrots. I had four beers in there. And then I had my ketchup, my sriracha sauce, my oil, my uh, syrup, and my salad dressing. And, oh, and I even have my open bag of pancake mix. So that shows you how much will fit. So we'll just go to that here in just a second. Well, there you have it. Everything's packed in. I still have a little bit more room. I could pack a little more in there, but I'm not going to overdo it. Gonna close it back up. I'm gonna put it back in the van. Then I'll go over the uh, the controls with you. Now, as you can see, the controls. Let me just put my other phone up there. Pretty self-explanatory. You got power on and off. You got the settings button. So right now it's on eco. It's on max. 
Now granted it is 41 degrees just because I had it open. It uh, shows a battery monitor. I'm going to turn it back to eco. I can turn the temperatures up or down. Actually in settings. Oh, why is it not doing that? There it goes. I can turn it to warmer, cooler, and it, like I said, it also has Bluetooth mode. So let's just turn Bluetooth mode on, which is this little car fridge right here. As you can see, let's just keep them side by side. It's set to 38, and granted, it's showing 41. No. Oh. Cancel. It uh, does show the current temperature at 41. I can dial the temperature down or up. I can change Fahrenheit or Celsius so it's showing. I can lock it. I can turn it off eco mode. I can unpair it. I can set it from low to medium to high. For power draw, I'm going to go back to the Eco, and uh, that's about it. Oh, I can turn it on and off from here, too. I forgot. Come on. Yeah, that's about it. So, what do I think about the Verver 45 liter, 47 quidditch? Well, I'm not going to lie. I've been using it. Sorry about the extreme close-up. I've been using it since um, about the 1st of October. And uh, I've had no issues with it. I've had uh, zero complaints. The uh, power draw is minimal. Um, I only have two 100 amp hour lithium batteries and 400 watts of solar. I do have shore power, um, a shore power connections. So I do have a, a, a lithium battery charger, but it's rare that I get anywhere that has shore power. Um, so it, even in the short days that we have, the short sunlight days and the very few that we have on Vancouver Island, I don't have a problem running that fridge. I do also have it connected to uh, a DC to DC charger, a 40 amp DC to DC charger. So that does help, but I don't drive a whole lot either. Um, typically, maybe 40 kilometers, 50 kilometers a day. That's it. So, yeah. That's all I've got. The uh, I think I paid about... Five sixty nine on Amazon. Um, don't quote me on that. I will put the uh, the actual price in the in the uh, box. I'll put the actual listing in in the description. Um, I don't have any service here right now where I'm filming. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Would I recommend it? I sure would. I did look at other brands. I looked at Set Power. Like I I'm not sponsored. I paid for this myself. Um, I looked at set power. I was going to get the 65 quart and then I looked at the actual dual zone one they had, which I would really have loved, but with shipping, the thing was just around a thousand dollars and I couldn't do that. I just couldn't do it. So I, uh, so I went with this, the reviews were good. Um, they do, there's a few other brands that put their name on this one. So it's, if you read up on a lot of them, there's, there's, I think there's three brands in total. Um, you'll see that the reviews are, are relatively good. They're not, they're not bad by any stretch. So with that being said, I'm going to keep using this and I will get back to you in a couple more months and let you know how it's doing. Just a reminder, everyone, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, uh, join me over on Patreon. Um, my uh, details for that are listed on the uh, 
on my YouTube homepage. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I um, uh, hope to bring you more videos um, with content that you'll like. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.